Radio activity. Yeah, I screwed up. I missed one. And this is a dose meter. I got this for about 15 pounds a good few years ago. Made by Apple Foot Instruments. England. In Abrington. Accordingly, I'd need to stick that into Google to see exactly where that is. And what this is, is a Geiger Mother Tube dose meter. Probably gamma and beta. It's quite a small tube. It's, I cracked it open when I first got it. It's about here. And it's about the sort of size I'm rubbing the area with. Nice, like, old 1980s. But interestingly, this thing's like burn marks, quite badly battered. Probably not used a nuclear power station, probably more of a laboratory setting, and this was the result of some um, experiments. Maybe it was even used in a hospital, which means it could carry all kinds of nasty diseases, which, if it did, I'd probably be dead by now. Anyway, my mum works in a hospital, so... Yeah, if anything's going to be bringing back horrible, nasty hospital diseases, it's mum. <laughs> But yeah, we got an ASIC number of 2444 and um, random nonsense that these were to be recalled by 04. Certification number, date of cal, 19th of the 8th, 03. So they're calibrated every year. But since this uses a Geiger tube, it can't actually give you an accurate dose unless you're talking about the actual dose the tube was calibrated with. Ah, there's quite a few little complications that lead to why Geiger tubes are not so good for measuring dose, but you're better off measuring in counts per second. Because the thing is with a Geiger tube that this and this both have internally is a Geiger tube only tells you if radiation is there. It can't tell you the penetration power, what type it is. That's where you need a centralizer, which is basically a specialist type of crystal which goes to a photo multiplier tube. But yeah, a little unit I forgot because it lives in my lab coat and looks damn awesome in my lab coat too. Thought that'd be interesting and. No sense leaving Alan. All my radiation detectors. This is the only one that hasn't been tested by the science department. But it's been running for a few years now and it tells me that it's absorbed 3,020 USV. And since this has basically been where I've lived over the years, it essentially holds my dose in the areas where I actually live, the actual buildings that is. This one doesn't come out of the house much. Thanks for watching. Radio activity. It's in the air for you and me. Geiger counters. Yes, you'll also notice a few of these are actually working away, actually detecting radiation, hence the small clicks and whatnot that you'll get every so often. What we have here is an example of my entirety collection of Geiger counters. Yes, it's one of my smaller collections of things that I collect. I have many sub-obsessions and Geiger counters is one of them. These were all acquired off eBay, aside from that one to which I built, and some of these you have seen before in other videos. For example, this one was in the Radioactive Island video. This one was in the Geiger counter build and was actually my first Geiger counter I owned and still do own. But I built it myself because at the time it wasn't... It was only a year or so off the um, Fukushima incident and Geiger counters were still going for horrific prices off eBay. This one has appeared in its own sort of teardown where I made a sort of Geiger counter joke then. You can roughly get these sorts of ones for about 20 quid off eBay, depending on various circumstances, because, well, 
you know, some of these are actually proper collector's items and they do go for collector's prices. But it varies. It, prices of Geiger counters can vary wildly from ones like this I got for 15 quid. The same with this to ones which can set you back a few hundred quid. But, let's get on to the meat of the video. Where we're going to be predominantly looking at this beast here. <laughs> 